So when we're talking about what the sign of delta G is, or free energy is, some of you might already be familiar with this. When we're talking about a negative delta G, is this spontaneous or non-spontaneous? So maybe not so familiar, which is totally fine. Um, so in terms of thinking about a negative delta G, that's going to be a spontaneous process. Anytime you see a negative free energy, which just like when we talk about entropy, it's a similar idea. It means that free energy is released as the uh, reaction progresses. That's going to be a spontaneous process. So that means that if delta G is greater than zero, then what we're going to see is a non-spontaneous process. And finally, in the case where delta G is equal to zero, at this point we're at equilibrium, which basically means that there's no net change in either the forward or the reverse reaction uh, in terms of thinking about whether something's spontaneous or not spontaneous. It's just at equilibrium, we see no net change. And something I want to point out is that this reaction is valid only when we're at constant temperature and pressure, uh, which we will be uh, throughout the discussions in this class in terms of using this equation. And also, it turns out that when you do a, a most chemical equations, you are, in fact, uh, at a pretty constant temperature and a constant pressure in terms of most things are done in the open atmosphere. So that's really not going to change. <clears throat> 